Hello everyone, this is Kinko IoT. In this video, I will tell you how to use this AirPlay radio remote to country our relay box. Uh, it's a new way to country our relay box, such as by this uh, switch or by this uh, play joke. So it uh, will be very interesting. So let's begin uh, how, to, how to do this country our board. This is a FlySky FXI 6X remote. And this is country by the airplay. So we can have many switch. And this is a joke. And this is the receive mode. So the first step, we need to know how to decode this signal from the remote send the signal. This is the remote receive module. So we can see these pins are channel 1 to channel, channel 10. And this is VCC for power supply. So we can use this MAX10 channel to connect with the Arduino board, this Arduino board. So we can use this receive mode, connect with this Arduino board to decode this signal and the Arduino board will co uh, connect to our uh, 32B relay controller uh, to control the relay on and the off. So the first step we need to know is this module, uh, what signal output from this remote. This is channel 1. Channel 1 is, this is channel 1. And uh, channel 2, this is channel 2. And this is channel 3. And this is channel 4. And this is channel 5. And channel 6. This is channel 7. This is channel 8. This is channel 9. And this is channel 10. If you don't understand uh, where is the channel, you can also press the key to s see the menu. Uh, set, set up menu. You can see this uh, display. So this is channel 1 uh, to channel 10. If I press this, this is channel 1. You can see this channel 1 signal is display is changed. Channel 1, channel 4, and this buttons. So this is confirm which the channel and the output channel is right. So we can test the channel 1. Channel 1 left and right we can connect with this module to use this <coughs> solo per 2. So we use this channel 1. Send the signal and the output we can test by the oscilopo uh, to see the signal. The first step, we need to connect the VCC and the GND to the Arduino board. This is the Arduino board. We will use this 5 volt and the GND ground to the receive module. And another side, we will use the uh, 3, uh, 5, 6 pin for the digital PWM signal to test the channel output. The first step, this is red is 5 voltage and uh, this is ground. So I connect to this receive module. This is the, the top is the VCC, the, the power supply. Uh, you can see the VCC is the middle and the right. So we can connect to this. This is VCC and this is ground. Okay, this is the antenna. This is antenna for 2.4 gigahertz. So we use a USB cable. USB cable connect to this. Okay, you can see this red LED is on the receive board is began to work. And at this time. 
And at this time, you can see the receive mode. This is signal uh, quality. If I remove the power, you can see this will not display the receive mode. If I power on, you can see it detect it detect the receive module. So we use a signal from channel one. Channel one. The S. This S means the signal output, and the G N D ground. So we can use this orange to signal and the yellow to the ground. And now we use this test. And the yellow is ground. OK, now we can test for this. We can connect to this. Connect to this pin. You can see when I channel one, turn left and turn right. You can see this screen. Turn left, right, and turn the left. So. The frequency of the pulse will be changed. If you try to another one, uh, they will not output because this is only for the channel one. I turn left, right, left, right, left, and right. So this is the output signal of our country, the left and the right. So when we know this uh, principle of the remote and the receive module, so we just uh, count the input pulse of the channel one. So we can judgment uh, the key is on the left or on the right. Now we can close the device and we can connect this two line to pin three, the orange signal. The orange signal, I connect to pin three. Uh, this is our remote channel, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we can see the Arduino program. We have defined the channel 1 is pin 3, so we connect the Arduino board pin 3. And we also connect uh, the channel 5 and the channel 6. Uh, channel 5 is this, and the channel 6 is this. And the first uh, I have read the program. If you want to need the code, source code, you can leave a message to us. We can send it to you. And uh, you can see the command. I can enable this command. We can use this, use this pulse in. This is the Arduino function. It can count the pulse input from the channel 1. And uh, we can display by the Several part display, and every two seconds we can scan and detect this con these points. So we can download the program, upload, and we can see the loadout. 
Okay, download, uh, complete. Then we can open the server monitor. And uh, you can see uh, this clear because I have read another functions. You can see this number. This number is the channel one's number. Uh, this is the default. So I, when I use the channel one, I turn left. When I turn left, you can see the number is 1005 and 1006. Uh, maybe some have some different, not, uh, it's no program. So when I turn the right, I turn the right, and this command is I already sent to the relay board. So you can see it's 1981. 1981, this is number one, I turn the uh, right. So I uh, recover to the middle position. You can see the number is recovered to the uh, 15 and uh, 50. So you can see the number is changed when in the middle and in the left and in the right. So we can just uh, according to the number uh, to judgment we need to turn on and turn off which relay and uh, uh, do your operation. So uh, this is very easy if I have no the number of the output. So we can disable this command. Disable this command. I have read uh, the code, uh, just judgment the different number according to this. Uh, in different number and uh, judgment the relay is on and is off. So I have write the three channel, uh, five, six, and uh, one. Three channel to control our relay board. Uh, the program, you can see the details because uh, I need to save the time. I will uh, use the Arduino board uh, by the RS232 module to connect to our relay board. i show you the result. This is RS232 and uh, the TTL convert module. Uh, this is a TTL level, and this is RS232. Uh, we will connect to uh, this point, but at the first, we need to connect to this line to the Arduino server point. So we can use uh, we can use five uh, we can use four lines. Four lines. We can power off. This is three point three voltage, and uh, this is uh, D ground. Okay, and uh, this two line connect to this this TX. Tx and the Rx. Tx and the Rx. Okay, and this part also have GND, Tx, Rx, and the VCC, and the VCC is the green so we use this this connect to vcc and the ground ground is blue and now have the ix and the tx this is important the Arduino's ix need connect to our modules tx this need to connect to the TX. And the Arduino TX connect with the mo these modules RX. So we can connect as this. Uh, this is complete. When it's complete, we can connect to this RS232 point. 
and uh, I have not connected to this ground because I have already used this ground uh, at the same time. So not needed to connect this ground. So I put in this way and uh, connect to this line. USB cable is for power supply. This is channel 5. And this is channel 6. Channel 5 is this one. Channel 5 is pin, pin 5. Channel 5. And the channel 6. Okay, this is complete. Channel 5 and channel 6. Okay, now you can see I can use this. Use this switch to turn on the relay 1. And use this to turn on the relay 2. And use this turn on relay 3, turn off relay 3. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. So you can define any switch and any channel just according to your uh, program, Arduino program to country every or do other things. This is how to use AirPlay radio remote to country your relay box by the Arduino board. It's very easy and you just according to the channel information, output information to do any of your logical country. Uh, so you can decide what you need to do and you can use this you can use this remote uh, to country anything because this remote and this radio receive mode it can distance about uh, one kilometer it's very far so because it's for airplay so we can use this play so you can use this way for many applications uh, thanks for watching